straight. Better flee hops or get your head flown three blocks. LK rappers, hearts pumping like D rocks. And every day I gain clout in my name sprouts. Some brothers will still be burned to the crap that we came out. Finesse, do you remember first time when you heard Big L freestyling and did you expect that he will be such a dope MC when you heard him first time? That's the answer to that. It was yes. You know, when I first heard him, I, I, I knew, you know, hearing him at the age of 16 and him saying what he's saying at that age, you know, you project yourself to that age and try to put together what you were saying at that time. Man. He can tell the stories. He just went to school. He just picked up. That has to be some Yeah, so, you know, when he rhymed for me, you know, I wasn't expecting nothing like that, you know. I, you know, he was trying to get my number linked up with me, and I was like, whatever. You know, go ahead, rhyme. Let me hear what you got. Like I said, when he finished, I was getting all his numbers. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Nah, that dude. When I heard the yes, you may join. No, I gave a lot of black eyes in my sporting days. Fucking with me, a lot of niggas was sporting shades. That dude, he was just way ahead of his time, man. Um, I used to like, oh, uh, like uh, A said, I would go get him from school. Like he would call me, I got a half a day today. What you doing? It's like, yo, nothing. And it was funny because I lived on 58th and 10th. So, you know, after 72nd Street, 50, I mean, 10th Avenue turns into Amsterdam. And his school was on 107th and Amsterdam. So I used to go straight up 10th Avenue and snatch him up. And he would hang out with me for the day. But, you know, the dude was always writing rhymes, always. I mean, even... When I told him I'm quitting, you know, I'm good, man. You you got it locked, you gonna do you. Nah, 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 you gotta keep it going. What, what you talking about, man? You the reason why I'm doing this, man, and you know. So, but, you know, the dude was, he was special. I mean, we, we say it all the time how special he is, but um, I don't think he's gonna be any more special to y'all than he is to us due to the fact is, you know, we personally know him was always around him. Y'all know him as Big L, the rapper, the legend, Harlem's final. We know him as the comedian, the troublemaker, the instigator. That, that's the, the, the instigator, you know, because it's like no matter where we hung out, he got a kick out of getting under your skin. He might have been right here asking you some questions. Yeah, he. Funny having you feel more funny. Yeah, he, he. We call him the instigator because, it, no matter what we doing, he's gonna find a way to get up under your skin. And the more he get up under your skin, the more he like. If you start getting mad, he's gonna keep going with it. You know, he just got a little sick sense of humor, and we love that about him because you know, when we go to a session to hang out. We know he going to be there, and if he's there, you know, it's going to be funny. It's just you wondering whose skin he going to get up under the day, you yeah, know. Some shit for you to be and, learning. and you see him joking all the time, you know what I mean? It's always fly, his bars is always on point. And on stage, he's very, this shit is very much together. But I had to, we had to room together one time in Germany, and I really, I really got to appreciate what he puts into it. I really got to appreciate what he puts into it. I saw him rehearse a song for like three hours, one song. Yo, we going over, nah, I'm chilling, I'm good. But he don't do it in front of people. That's his style. Like, he'll make you think he just remembered this shit out the blue, but he really put a lot into what he was doing, but he just didn't show you. 
It just seems effortlessly to him uneasy, but he definitely worked hard at it. And that's made me really appreciate even more because he has a style, a personality that he looks like he don't care about nothing. He just chill, slow motion, but he was definitely passionate about it.